Good morning, everybody. Hi. Is the cake in? Cake is here. Is it? I hope it looks good. <laughs> ah! OK, so we have to get the balloons ready. Okay, I'm ready. Happy birthday, dear Uber. Happy birthday to what? you. What? Thank you, everyone. Incredibly sweet. <laughs> it's really good. Your face tastes good. Unhappy emotion face. Go. <laughs> and now we're going to check our emails. Yes. The fun stops. OK, are you ready for this? We have an email. All right, let's have a read. Hi, Julian Uber. My name is Neil, and I'm from Enfield in North London. Three years ago, I added a girl on social media called Jasmine, and we've been chatting ever since. She's mega and we speak for hours on the phone. I love her bubbly personality and we have loads in common, but the catch is I haven't yet met her in person. We've arranged to meet 13 times what? and each time she has either cancelled or stood me up. It's not often I feel this way about someone and asking you guys for help is my last attempt at getting her to meet. I'm worried it's too good to be true. Hope you can help, Neil. Mm. I also just want to point out, on a positive one, I grew up in Enfield, North London. Did you? Yeah. I'm really excited about talking to this guy. So this is like... Maybe we went to school together. I mean, come on. You know the bit that always gets me with these emails is the duration of time mm. that these people are speaking. Three years, mm. I've got questions and I think we should ask them. Should we give him a call? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Oh, here he is. How are you guys doing? How are you doing, Neil? It's good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We've just been reading your, your email. We're very excited to meet you and to talk to you about the one and only Jasmine. Normally when you meet someone, you get an energy from them straight away. Right, okay. And you're like, oh, I like this person. Right. Um, but it's weird that we've kind of got that through just messaging. Right. Because of the way she is, um, she's definitely touched, touched my heart, definitely. She just, yeah, she just, <laughs> Just thinking about making me smile. This does sound like love to me, Neil. Um, there's a lot of things I love about Jasmine. She's got so many good qualities um, that I look for in a woman. She's very caring, considerate, and passionate. <laughs> She's gorgeous, obviously, as well. This has been kind of three years of your life, and um, you know you've tried to meet up with Jasmine thirteen times. <laughs> it's never nice to be stood up thirteen times at all. It's no face time. I've not met you. Most people would say, "Well, why would you even bother?" And then you start talking again, and then you forget about that. Okay. We get on so well that sort of led me to believe that there's a deeper issue, or there's. There's something else going on. Right, okay. Behind the scenes. Where does she live? She lives in North London. Oh. So. She lives in North London as well? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. I'm in need of some help. Well, thank you so much for being so open with us, Neil. You do definitely have a really <laughs> lovely energy. Yeah. Since we've been on the phone to Neil, I haven't stopped smiling. <laughs> 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 We're going to come and meet you. <laughs> I need the help. I need the team behind me. <laughs> Don't worry, we are here. Perfect. Thank you, Neil. Take care. Bye. This guy, bro. <laughs> this is 13 times of standing you up and you're still messaging, laughing, joking. He's deeply, deeply in this. We should go. Have you got the car keys? <laughs> <laughs> no, you've got them. <laughs> Can I take my balloons? Well, I'm, it's my birthday. I'm taking my balloons. Come on, Jules, let's Hang do on. it. Hang on, I need to get a bit of cake. <laughs> Are you cutting some cake? This is going to get so messy. Let's go. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Move these balloons to the back. I can't see my mirror. All this right. is so illegal. You would know if you drove a car, Uber. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
So how are you feeling about meeting Neil? This one is classic, you know, catfish. Yeah, possibly. What it smacks to me is that someone who's agreed to meet up with someone 13 times mm -hmm. and then at the last minute pulled out, yeah. this person has something to hide. It's going to be an intense ride for him. 100%. This is the London which people come looking for, isn't it? Hey guys! Hey, hey! hey. How you guys How's doing? Good yeah, to meet you, man. You too. You too. Nice hey, to meet man. you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. you. What's your name? Clinton. Hi, Clinton. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you uh, Neil's moral support for the day? I am, yeah. I'm his older brother. Just come to I need support. It. Check chicken on him, see how he's doing. Well, thank you guys so much for coming down. Miracle workers, please. Well, I need some miracle workers. <laughs> this is what I need right now. Do you remember when you first started kind of developing feelings for her? Yeah, I'd, I'd probably say that was definitely after the year mark, when we started talking a little bit more frequently. Okay. I thought, oh, you know what? I don't want to say warm, warm and fuzzy. I don't want to say that. You've said it. You've said it. Now you have to commit. God damn it, warm and fuzzy. <laughs> okay, so tell us about the first time you tried to arrange meeting up. She said, oh, that she couldn't make it. Something came up. But I didn't really push. Okay. Then I said, oh, I can make us something to eat. I can make us dinner at mine. She was up for that. And she was she like, was yeah, that sounds, yeah, that sounds cool. It was like Groundhog Day. Just air. I thought, what's going on? No, so it's like everything is, everything is perfect. Everything's going great. And then yeah. all of a sudden the line just goes dead. Yeah, basically. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it really got from like bad to worse. I tried to organize a picnic. So this is when the weather was a bit nicer. And then she calls me and then says, oh, something happened, like a family emergency. Literally, I was left with you know, a bottle of wine for one. So how is that making you feel now? If I ask you to go on another date, mm -hmm. you're probably not going to show up again. Yeah, yeah. You're sort of left in limbo, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. You're not ready to give up, but you need some answers. 100%. OK. Just be nice for them both, to finally, like, meet and put a face to each other. Yeah. Just rooting for them now. 